Every six months, they looked down the next six months and see what's going to happen. It hadn't happened yet. It hadn't. There, there has. There is no. There's no guarantee that there's going to be. A I don't think there will be a recession. If it is, it'll be a very slight recession. That is, we'll move down slightly. Well, look, think about what's happened. So the latest controversy is Joe Biden using a note card with a reporter's picture, name, and their pre-prepared question at a press conference, showing that the, the press is useless. They're all in the back for Democrats. I mean, I think we generally know that. Uh, what's shocking is the amount of people that are shocked Joe Biden is using a note card. In this interview here, sitting down with Jake Tapper, he even drops his note card, and Jake Tapper politely picks it up and hands it back to him. We have done more. We're in a better position than any other major country in the world, economically and politically. We are... We still have real problems, but we look, 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 what we've, look what we got done. We, 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 we passed so much legislation that significantly makes a, ma- oh, oh, oh. Makes a point. Here you go, Joe. Let me get that for you. I don't want you to miss out on the next question. <laughs> this has been a thing for a minute. This is, this is nothing new. So when it happened yesterday and the note card was seen on camera, the L.A. Times, question number one on foreign policy and semiconductor manufacturing. Why are we shocked by this? This is this is same old Joe. <laughs> He's out of his mind. He's riddled with dementia. He doesn't know how to answer questions. It, it makes you even question, like at the end of press conferences where Joe Biden's being uh, shouted at by reporters with questions, Maybe those aren't pre-prepared. Maybe. But I wouldn't be surprised if he already knew about those, and that's why he turns around and actually acknowledges them. Here's what's shocking. Today at the White House press briefing, the media was shocked to find out that Joe Biden uses note cards. So they ask the genius, that is the press secretary of the White House, what's the deal with that? Did Joe Biden really have note cards and have the questions beforehand? Because the L.A. Times, according to the L.A. Times, they did not provide the questions in advance. So how in the world did the White House get their hands on that question? The L.A. Times said that their reporter did not submit any questions in advance of yesterday's press conference. So to the people who saw that pocket card, can you explain how that ended up there and why the president needed something like that? So just to just to step back, and I'm actually glad you asked that question. Uh, clearly, I would let uh, uh, the, the reporter for uh, Los Angeles Times speak for herself. Uh, it is entirely normal for a president to be briefed on reporters who will be asking questions at a press conference and issues that we expect they might ask about. Uh, it is not surprising that yesterday uh, we would anticipate questions that he did receive, right, on the visit uh, with uh, with the South Korean president, as the South Korean president was sitting standing to his to his right, or about 2024, that was uh, completely expected, or about the debt ceiling, uh, which he took questions at the end, shouted questions at the end, and of course we. Would would note those issues to him uh, uh those those issues uh to him will likely come up oh it's completely normal everybody it's it's completely normal as a matter of fact we we didn't know the question we just made a lucky guess we just guessed lucky about the question this reporter was going to ask and we got it right we're just smart like that we can we can tell the future sometimes we we're, we're the the Miss Cleo of presidential campaigns. The Miss Cleo of, of presidential administrations. Call me now for your free reading. That's what they want you to believe. And believe it if you will. That's up to you. <laughs> you just can't. Hey, listen, I'm Andrew McLean. Talk 99.5 WZRR. Find me at Andrew McLean who... Dot com, Andrew McLean, who dot com. We got the over the line podcast and all kinds of stuff. You're going to absolutely love it until next time. See you, cuz.